Well, the most famous thing Mark Twain didn't say, and most often quoted and misattributed, was the coldest winter I ever spent was one summer in San Francisco. Nowhere did he write that. Anyway, what I have is the unredacted um, broadside of a tribute to our first poet laureate, uh, Lawrence Ferlinghetti, who attained a century last month. And the picture of him uh, does have a slight redaction over his eyes, putting a Zorro mask over him wearing the mask of Lady Liberty. Uh, for Lawrence, upon a century, as long as wonders exist in our world, Lawrence Monsanto Ferlinghetti, once masked as Lady Liberty, inscribed in the pantheon of picaresque American rebels, may signal us through the flames. Born the same year as folk hero Zorro, his sword, a palette, plain language, cuts away lies and cant over all the obscene boundaries. Now attains an even century. Aren't poets supposed to die young? Beyond <laughs> simple longevity, one imagines or yearns for actuarial turmoil at Lloyd's of London, should others follow suit. Ferlinghetti, poet of hope, whose city lights is beacon and bulwark against constrained speech. Howl, freed from the obscenity of arrest, with clear eyes, no longer may imagination be enchained. His greatness transcends any notion of nation. At home, in the wideness of world, wild lines on long, skinny pages collect into books, a library of insurgency. <laughs> 